Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel G Dynamic Tube TV. If you are returning subscribers, thank you for always coming to watch our videos. And if this is your first time coming to our YouTube channel, I would like you to click on the subscribe button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to always get the latest news anytime we upload a video. Hello guys, welcome once again. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Bado or popularly known as Olamide. Um, his name is Olamide Benga Adedeji. He was born on the 15th of March in the year 1989. He is the second of the three children of Pa Adedeji, that's his father and the second wife. His, the, um, his mother was the second wife of his father named Runke Osinsoya Adedeji. Olamide has two siblings named Temi Gold and Eniola Olamileko who is also known as DJ Eminemoni, known professionally as Olamide. And um, <coughs> Olamide Bado, Bado Sne, or simply Bado, is a Nigerian singer and a rapper. He studied mass communication at Tai Solarin University, but unfortunately he dropped out due to, you know, he, uh, he was in financially incapacitated and um, he had financial problems. So Alamide started his career when he released his um, single, um, Eniduro, in the year 2010. In the same year, he performed at the Hip Hop World Award. He was signed to ID Kabasa at that time, Coded Tunes record label, and managed by Tony Pine. In the year 2012, he left the record label, Coded Tunes, and started his own record label called YBNL Nation. In the year 2013, May, it was reported that Olamide had signed into uh, a record label deal with DB Records. And Olamide just went on his Twitter and put there that it was too late for him to, you know, sign into another record label. Why he has his own, that's like, why should I sign in? So Olamide just replied them like in pride, like it was too late for him to, you know, sign into a record label because he already has his own record label. Yeah, and it took to, um, it was in an interview with Tools on, on Danny TV's The Jews, and he said it was too late for anyone to sign him. That was what he said. So Olamide's first album, titled Rhapsody, was released in the year 2011, while signed to Coded Tunes. Its um, lead single, um, Omotoshon, charted on uh, several radio stations then in Lagos and across Nigeria. Olamide's debut offering um, led to collaborations with numerous artists because everybody heard what he, what he sang and then they saw that there was something inside this man. So a lot of artists actually collaborated with Olamide Bado. And then um, there, um, there were artists like Whiskey, ID Kabasa, Nice, Reminis, and Debunch, and other uh, notable artists back then. So, Adedeji's uh, second studio album, YBNL, was released in November 2012. Its production was handled by Tyrone producer Sam Clef, Two Chris Fuse, and ID Kabasa. The al album featured great appearances from uh, Davido Tiwa Savage, K Switch, Dami Crane, Reminis, Sam Clef, Bokwila, and Minus Two, uh, and Base One. It was also supported by singles uh, by um, such as I Lefo, Illuminati, First of All, Stupid Love, Voice of the Street. Um, the baddest guy ever lived is Olamide's third studio album. It was released on the 7th of November 2013 by YBNL Nation. Olamide records the album between year 2012 and 2013 and um, enlisted fuse Bokwila, Ketchup, Ice Prince, Pepe Nazi, India, Victor, b Banks, Fino, Belekwele, Bez, to happy as guest artist on it. The album was produced entirely by Fields, except for the 13th track, Sitting on the Throne. Baddest Guy Ever Leave It was supported by four singles named um, titled Duro Soke Turn Up, Yemi My Lover, and Ele Damio. So, Premium Times newspaper included the album on its list 
of the five yet to be released Nigerian album of 2013. It was ranked 12th on Africa Radio's list of the top 12 best Nigerian album of 2013. But it's got ever leave it one best album of the year and the 2014 Nigerian Entertainment Award and was nominated for Rap Album of the Year at the 2014 City People Entertainment Award. Um, it won Best Rap Album and Album of the Year at the Eddies in the Year 2014. Also, in May 2013, it was reported that Olamide had signed a record deal with um, DB Records, but then he told them that he can never sign him to other record label. That was by the way. And, and on the 14th November 2014, Alamde released his fourth album, Street OT, through YBNL Nation. That is that is record label. The album is a follow-up on his 2013 Baddest Guy Ever Live It album, preceded by the single titled Story for the Gods and Goons Me Street. OT future guest appearances from Pasuma, Lilkesh, Chinko, Confino, Don Jazzy, and Reminis. Its production was handled by Fuse and B Bang's Young John. The ideology of the title was, was an inspiration um, that he got through his first son. And um, no, it was the ideology of the title of the album. Is to glorify and show his love for the streets. Uh, Alamide is actually a, a street guy. You would have known even from the way he sings. His, his dress is like, so he's a street guy. So the title of the song was to just to glorify and appreciate the street and his love for the street. Alamide collaborated with Fino in the year 2015 to release Two Kings. It was released through Cloud9, the iTunes stores, with little announcement on 1st of April in the year 2015 by Pentelze Music and Wild BNL Nation. The music featured collaborations with producers, guest artists such as Whiskey, Lil Cash, Storm Rex, Fields, Major Banks, B Banks, and Young John. Alamide's fifth studio album, In Your May Weather, was released on 23rd of November and um, was released through his record label, YBNL Nation. Guys, this is all we have about Olamide Bado. If there's any other additional information, you can put that under the comment section. We would love to hear that from you. Thank you for viewing. Have a nice time.